Ladies and gentlemen, James Lane here. This is episode 111, one, one, one of the American Reveille podcast. That means it's a special episode. So we're going to talk about two very special people, two idiots. All right. Two idiots charged right now with the destiny of the world in the face of the tyranny that is the Chinese Communist Party. Folks, we thought that Boris... All right. We thought Boris was a good guy across the sea, but Boris turned out to be a lefty just like Biden. He he he. Hey, did that rhyme? Oh, I didn't mean to. Well, maybe I did. Listen, I know I sound crazy, but I'm not. This is what's driving me crazy. I said it on the last episode. I said that it feels like we're not on Earth. I feel like we're in the twilight zone. I feel like we're on another planet. Holy cow crap how many more episodes can i do like this before my head literally explodes all right boris and biden have teamed up to fight china all right china has this green uh not green but this belt and road initiative right to, to really expand their power and become a superpower and what what are what 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 are the two bumbling dumb and dumbers what are the the what is what's that old and uh uh, grumpy, what grumpy or ever, what was that freaking, uh, grumpy old men, right? The two Don Lemon or not Don Lemon, but Jack Lemon. And ugh, can't even believe I mixed those up. Look, you got Boris and you got Biden and they think they're going to do something together, right? They're going to do something together to challenge China, but what do they want to do? They don't want to do it by innovating. They don't want to do it by, by, by making our technology better or by using the power we have. No. We saw what happened in Texas. Let's see that happen around the world. Joe Biden and Boris Johnson want to work together to use green energy to fight China. Oh, my God. We're all doomed. We're going to die. Ah, next on the American Reveille podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, James Lane here, episode 111 of the American Reveille podcast, Boris Johnson, Joe Biden, working together, together forever, one's fat and dumb, one's old and done, nobody knows where they are, everyone hates them, listen, everybody, all right, across the ocean, Everybody that's conservative or on the right over there thought Boris Johnson was going to be good. And he turned out to be a freaking lefty. All right. He'd be a rhino by American standards. And then Joe Biden's asleep at the wheel. So what are they going to do? They're going to work together to fight China's Belt and Road Initiative. Gee whiz. So we can get smoked on that, too, Joey. We can get embarrassed on that, too. What are you going to go to Alaska and give a give a little circle jerk with the Chinese government so they could tell you you're a piece of crap like they did while we were up there? Great job. Great job. Huh? Southern border. I saw the video. We all saw the video of the traffickers, right? The coyotes, the uh, cartel members taunting the Americans, laughing at them. You can't do nothing. Joe Biden, he's the president. He supports evil trafficking, terrorism, pedophilia, and the death of children drowning in the Rio Grande River. Ladies and gentlemen, and he himself will work with Boris Johnson, a man who facilitates radical Islamic integration into England uh, so that more innocent people can die. Great stuff. Great. Just bravo. Bravo. I hope you're listening, Tommy Robinson. Uh, if you have anything to add on... Uh, Boris Johnson, feel free. But China's Belt and Road Initiative is basically this big program where they're working with all kinds of countries across the world to expand their reach. They give loans to these countries, build roads and bridges, do all kinds of stuff. And uh, basically, uh, these countries end up in the debt of China, which makes them subservient to China. So China's expanding an invisible empire across the world. Yay! Axis of evil time feels very, very pre-World War II-ish right now. Just like Putin was saying, well, uh, Boris and Biden, they don't like it, apparently, even though they're both profiting from it. But hey, that's a different story. So they're going to do something about it. Uh, for, but before they do something about it, I have to do something. I've got to ask you to do me a favor. All right. Head over to www.americanrevely.com. If you like what we're doing, please, please head over there. Hit the support us tab right there. 
All right. And you can give us a PayPal donation or donate Bitcoin to us. We greatly, greatly appreciate it. It goes right back into what we're doing. We're trying to spread the message of the right. We're trying to wake people up, empower, entertain, enlighten folks and get the word out. This this little show that we're doing, it's part of a bigger company we're trying to build, which will have dozens of bloggers and writers and podcasts. And we need your help. So if you would like to donate, please. But of course, do us a favor. All right. You don't have to donate, but like this, share this, follow us, hit the notification bell, subscribe, leave a comment. If you're listening and there's a place to leave a review, please do so. Just take a few minutes out of your day to do that for us. We are depending on you. The censorship wall is real. And without your help, without you guys spreading the word, we are doomed. So please, it all rests on our shoulders. Thank you, guys. All right, guys, listen. All right. We have to understand all right, that these two folks in whatever they're doing, whatever they want to do, Boris and Biden, it's going to be something that may slightly benefit the citizenry. And that's just used as a smokescreen because the rest is going to benefit their, 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 their pockets. It's going to benefit their allies. It's going to benefit our enemies that strategically are allied with some of these folks for certain reasons. All right. It's really 3d chess at the end of the day. All right. There, there are literally countries that are our allies for certain things and our enemies for other things. It's not so simple. It's not so black and white. All right. But to really get to the bottom of this article and really get into the meat of it, we need to start reading it. This is uh, from Breitbart as well. All right. Not a lot of gateway pundit I wanted to read today. Breitbart's been putting some great articles out. Kurt, Zin, uh, Kurt Zindulka. Kurt Zindulka. Zindulka. That sounds like a Street Fighter move. Hadouken Zindulka. Okay. Anyway, Kurt, don't kick my ass. Let's start reading. Prime Minister Boris Johnson and President Joe Biden have begun plotting a green alternative to the Chinese Communist Party's Belt and Road Initiative in the wake of Beijing sanctioning a group of British MPs. Mr. Johnson reportedly raised the idea during a meeting with the sanctioned MPs, including former to uh, Tory party leader Sir Ian Duncan Smith, during a Downing Street meeting on Saturday. It always sounds so ridiculous when they're talking about politics in England. I'm sorry. Mr. Johnson raised the idea during a meeting with the sanctioned MPs, including former Tory party leader Sir Ian Duncan Smith during a Downing Street meeting on Saturday. Maybe if I read like the whole article like that, it'll be more interesting. Let's see. The plan would see Western democracies pour billions into so-called green infrastructure projects in developing nations in order to counter communist China's growing global influence through its debt trap diplomacy efforts. Yes. OK, so I, I just picture like I just picture like a starving Ethiopian child with a teardrop coming down its eye, you know, uh, his or her eye. Uh, and uh, I picture that child staring over like miles of solar panels, right? And just arid desert everywhere. Like, what do you what do you mean? What do you mean by exporting solars to by exporting green energy? You mean the crap that doesn't work? The crap that takes non green energy to produce? You guys are idiots. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. It's frustrating. It's absolutely frustrating. The British leader is said, according to the Times, to have pushed for the Build Back Better project with President Biden in a phone call on Friday evening. A spokesperson from Number 10 told The Telegraph that the two leaders reflected on the significant action taken by the UK, US and other international partners earlier this week to impose sanctions on human rights violators in Xinjiang and expressed their concerns about retaliatory action taken by China. Taking credit for the Green scheme, President Biden told reporters on Friday, one of the things I suggested we do is we talked about China and the competition they're engaging in the Belt and Road Initiative, and I suggested we should have essentially a similar initiative coming from the Democratic states, helping those communities around the world. Guys, I gave Biden way too much credit reading his quote like that. I really should have read it like this. Taking credit for the green scheme, President Biden told reporters on Friday, hey, one of those things I, I suggested we do is we, we talked about China and, um, and the competition there, engaging in the belt and the roads of uh, 
the belt my daddy used to belt me the road um i suggested we should have a similar uh the thing the thing that comes uh when you copy the thing look i i made a career of copying things from other people and so let's just copy the china thing but do it a little different than the china thing and then run at the same time as the china thing uh, helping those communities around the world. That's really what he's saying. Though um, through its Belt and Road Initiative, the Chinese Communist Party has sought to expand its global influence by offering billions in predatory infrastructure loans to developing nations in Asia, Africa, South America, and Eastern Europe. This makes them basically like... Uh, you know, subjugated city states. The loans enable the communist nation, see, to indebt poor countries, which often can't afford to repay Beijing. Should a government fail to repay the loans, China seizes the ownership of the properties. The issue is compounded by the fact that Beijing ships in Chinese laborers to work on the infrastructure projects, meaning that even more of the economic benefits are consolidated within China. See, those laborers come, they move to the other countries, they become spies, they report on things right nobody in the country actually benefits and if they can't pay back right they can't uh give the money back to china it's seized by china and then china uh runs that little part of their country i mean this is a real trap right this is like a mathematical tetrisy uh slightly more compu uh, complicated version of what hitler was doing in world war ii Right. A little less boom and a little more brain was involved. All right. But 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 this is horrible. It's horrible. It's enslavement of small countries. It's enslavement of small countries. Mr. Johnson said, quote, we need to come up with an alternative so that countries have a choice. The West needs to do this. And yes, here's the thing. I agree. I agree. The West needs an initiative. We need to be in competition. We need to smash China like that through the correct way by creating uh, a, a, an opposing process that shows to be economically uh, and uh, scient uh, scientifically right and, and and just economic just just the whole spectrum scientifically economically right uh, humanitarian everything just across the board. We have to defeat them and show that our method is an improvement. That's what I'm trying to get at. What we're doing is better than what China's doing. And then the world will flock to America and China uh, and the communist ideology will crumble from that. All right. But it's not going to be in this green energy alternative crap. We know it. We just know it. All right. And, and, and they're literally jumping on this bandwagon. All right. Playing right into Davos, right into the Great Reset, right into the hands of these elites that literally want to watch the world burn. They're all going to profit from it anyway. And they're laughing. They're laughing at us. All right. The prime minister said that the president, all right, uh, uh, had already agreed to throw millions of pounds into the foreign infrastructure project. It has been suggested that Britain could divert funds saved from the cuts to the foreign aid budget, which was slashed from 0.7 to 0.5 of GDP last year into the scheme. While Boris Johnson has, offered, uh, has often been likened to former President Trump, the British leader's positions on issues such as migration, free trade, and allegedly man-made climate change are far more in line with Biden's neoliberal globalist perspective. And that's a thing. That's truly a thing. Is he brash? Is he, is he kind of speak from the hip? Does he have that Trump characteristic? Yeah, but he's a lefty, plain and simple. He's a fake conservative. Um, Johnson, for example, has pledged to reduce Britain's carbon dioxide emissions to net zero by 2050, according to a report from the Global Warming Policy Foundation last year. The green agenda would cost over three trillion pounds or a hundred thousand pounds per house, uh, household. President Biden, for his part, has stated his intention to transition the American economy away from the fossil fuel industry by 2030. Ladies and gentlemen, it is 2021. That is nine years from now. Remember what they said, the transportation guy, Biden's guy, what was it, Buttig Buttigieg or Buttigieg, whoever he has in there. He said they're already considering a tax on carbon and a tax on mileage. So if you uh, uh, are a sinner that drives a car. All right. You commit the sin of using gasoline and driving your car. You will have to pay for every single mile you drive. Ladies and gentlemen, that doesn't sound like freedom to me. 
That doesn't sound like freedom at all. That sounds like tyranny, folks. President Biden uh, is out of his mind. He's demented and he's being controlled by lobbyists who are being controlled by elites who want to see this world change to protect their way of life, not our way of life. We're just all falling into the Venus flytrap. The two men have frequently used the same slogan, Build Back Better, which originated during the United Nations disaster relief efforts following the 2015 tsunami in Japan and was later adopted by the World Economics uh, World Economic Forum's Great Reset. We've reported on this. They're the first ones to use that. They came out, they took it from, all right, the, the, the tsunami relief efforts and the World Economic has used Build Back Better in relationship with the Great Reset ever since. You can find it on their literal uh, official website is there. The WEF has said that in the wake of the Chinese coronavirus pandemic, governments throughout the world should adopt socialist style policies as well as introducing giant Green New Deal type initiatives. Delling poll, Bojo tweets praise for the Great Reset. Strap in everyone. 2021 is going to be a wild ride. You know that British news totally sounds like that. Delling poll. Bojo tweets praise for the great reset. Strap in, everyone. 2020 is going to be a wild ride. Come on, I'm not wrong. You know I'm not wrong. Don't even mess with me. But they're not wrong. As big of a joke as I make, as big as a, a, a laugh as we're having, as much as I think these idiots are going to literally steer the earth into an asteroid and kill us all. Delling Paul ain't wrong. 2021 is going to be a wild ride. Strap the hell in. Uh, 2022, baby. 2022. Let's get there, folks. Let's get there. In the meantime, I'm going to take some of this ancient life oil. What's ancient life oil? Ancient life oil is pure CBD oil. And I'm telling you guys... After this stuff, after reading about this, after knowing that Biden and Boris are the ones controlling our destiny, they're the ones that are going to supposedly save us from China. Huh? You're lucky I'm not doing crack. Listen, CBD oil, at least take the anxiety edge off. It'll at least uh, take your headache away, make you feel a little better. No hallucinogenic effects, no uh, uh, type of psychosis, no craziness. This is 100% psychogenic free, 100% uh, uh, hallucinogenic free. There's no THC in here. This stuff is fantastic. It's been used for a very long time, thousands of years. People have been uh, uh, using hemp oil. And I'm telling you, this CBD extract, this CBD uh, tincture, it's fantastic. It does the job. It really, really does. I feel a little calmer already. I take it twice a day. I don't put things on this podcast that I don't take myself. You know that. So I appreciate them sponsoring this episode, ancientlifeoil.com. And I appreciate you trying them out. Just give them a try. Just stay tuned for a couple minutes after this episode anyway. And you can see why I like Ancient Life Oil so much. But head to ancientlifeoil.com. It's all put together in the U.S. of A. Good old U.S. of A. You're supporting an American company. Head to ancientlifeoil.com. Promo code James. Promo code James. Free shipping and handling. Like I said, stick around. Guys, Boris and Biden, um, it's literally like dumb and dumber. I, I just, I, I don't know what to say. All right. It's pathological. They're both liars, right? They're both liars. They've both hurt their people. Uh, uh, Biden, I think Boris is, is subservient almost to Biden. And Biden doesn't even know where he is. So who knows? Who knows? All I know is that if I had some whiskey, I would be drinking right now because this is um, it's not good. I, I have to be level with you, right, guys? Like I, I, I joke around and but now I'm kind of at a loss for words. It, it's not good at all. All right. We need to come up with solutions. We need to start thinking about the future. We're all stuck in the now, but our children, they're the ones that are going to grow up during this. I have a baby, a 15 month old baby, 15, 16 month old baby. She's going to grow up during this. And how is this going to shape her adulthood? Are our children going to be quality children or are our children going to end up like these 
kids burning down buildings in Antifa. And right now that decision's resting on the shoulders of parents who are going to throw their kids in public school and forget and allow people like Biden and Boris to raise them or by parents who are going to take a real part in their kid's life and pay real close attention and be a real parent, not just a friend or a buddy, but really be involved in their kids' lives. That's all I say right now at this point. Hug your kids, be involved in your kids' life, get involved in local politics, keep your mouth open, never, ever, ever cede to the left, never, ever shut your mouth, never, ever, ever apologize when they call you names, when they say you're racist, when they say all these horrible things, tell them to kick rocks. Don't explain yourself. Don't apologize. Be like Dana White. Say, screw off. This is who I am. I'm not going to talk to somebody who doesn't live in reality and I don't agree with your reality. And that's it. Screw off. All right. But don't give in. Keep your mouth open for our rights. Don't you ever forget it. All right. Things are going to be rough and choppy, but we have to stick together. So like I've said in previous episodes, get in your communities, get out locally and vote beyond voting, unite each other, work together to build groups and community groups within your communities, with businesses, with with different age groups. Uh, there's all types of things you can put together to, to make sure people are aware of what's going on and can work together because pulling each other other's resources and powers together, right? Bo voluntarily, that's the different socialists, it's forced, but voluntarily by choice, using our freedom to pool our information, our resources and our networks together to be able to affect positive change through the use of our First Amendment to make sure, listen, Biden's about to sign executive orders on uh, gun control. That's how serious this is. That's where we are. That's where we are. All right. So it's time. It's time. Do I sound a little frantic? Yeah, I'm a little off script. I'm not, you know, but I'm being honest. I'm being honest with you guys. It's not time to screw around anymore. It's time to get serious. Don't freak out, but start opening up and working with each other. All right. They want to build back better. Well, we need to build back bigger. That's episode 111 of the American Revely podcast, guys. Follow me, all right? Facebook, uh, I'm still there, but I'm shadow banned. I'm still on Twitter, but I'm shadow banned. Instagram, but I'm shadow banned. So don't worry about there. But you follow me on Parler. You can follow me on Gab. You can follow me on Odyssey. You can follow me on Rumble. YouTube, I'm shadow banned. I'm still there, but I'm shadow banned. Shadow banned should be the keyword of the freaking day. Just look in the description section below at American underscore Revely everywhere except for Parler. That's at the James lane you can find me there find out where to donate find out where the website is everything is in the description section below i want to say thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for listening and watching what i do i love doing this for you guys and without you i uh, i i wouldn't be able to keep growing this and expand it please do me the favor of sharing and liking and talking about the american revely the more of you get the word out and the more this grows the more i can do this permanently and full time for you and get even more awesome stuff i I have so many plans, so many amazing ideas, but I got to free up my time. So if you can help me grow and get rid of my day job. I will take all of that time and invest it in you. Thank you guys so much for watching and listening. Have an amazing day and I'll see you on episode 112. Bye. Let, let me get your attention for a second. I want to tell you about something. I want to share something with you that's very near and dear to me. All right, guys, I have joint pain. I'm sure it's no secret by now, all right? I have joint pain, I have hip pain, I have elbow pain, I have inflammation, all right? I get stressed out. I'm going through so much political news doing this podcast, so much. You can imagine how stressful that is, all right? How much anxiety that can cause, how many sleepless nights I have. But folks, I've been taking CBD oil for a while now. All right, for a while now, and it's fantastic. And a while ago, just a little while ago, I came across Ancient Life Oil, all right? And I got it from ancientlifeoil.com. And this stuff is fantastic, all right? It's the best source, the best and most trusted source for CBD oil in the United States. It's 100% pure, it's 100% THC free, no psychoactive uh, uh, effects, no high, nothing like that, just pure CBD, pure relief from all of those issues, relief from sleep. Sleeplessness, relief from anxiety, relief from stress, 
from uh, 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 from inflammation, right? Uh, relief from joint pain, relief from all of these things that could really hinder your daily life, your daily activities, really put you in a bad place. This stuff lifts your mood up. It's fantastic. All right, it's legal in all 50 states. People are 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 really experiencing wonderful change in their life, basically doing something that people have been doing for thousands of years, guys. If you head to ancientlifeoil.com, ancientlifeoil.com, the same place I went, all right, the same place I went to get the stuff, you can go on there, use promo code James, J-A-M-E-S, at ancientlifeoil.com, A-N-C-I-E-N-T, life oil, A-N-C. I-E-N-T, lifeoil.com, promo code James, J-A-M-E-S, promo code James, free shipping and delivery, folks, free shipping and delivery. Guys, this is a great product. You are missing out if you need to do CBD and you're just not doing it for some reason, guys. I don't know what's stopping you anymore. It's 2021. Folks, if you want relief from these issues, you want to do it in a natural way without taking medications, you want to do it in a way that's helpful. I have found CBD oil to be very beneficial, and I believe it will be very beneficial for you as well. So one more time, ancientlifeoil.com, A-N-C-I-E-N-T, lifeoil.com, promo code James, promo code James, free shipping and delivery, folks. Give it a shot. I really, really know it'll make you a believer just like I am. All right, folks, let's get back to the show.